Well, welcome back. We have a Learner Lab instance here. I'm going to come here to my modules, go to Learner Lab, and I'm going to start it so that we can create a server. Happy day. So it takes just a little bit to start. Um, while this is starting, if I'm going to create a server, I want to create SSH keys. Now, I can get the SSH keys from AWS. Um, I don't like doing that because uh, being a cybersecurity individual, I don't think that it's good for other people to create your private keys. So if I just do SSH-keygen, and this will work on Linux, Windows, and, um, and Mac. So it's going to create the private key pair, public private key pair, and it's going to tell you where it's going to save it. You're going to have to pay attention to this. This will be different for Linux, Windows, and Mac, this little port point right there. And you can tell it to put it somewhere else, but no, I'm going to leave it at the default. So a passphrase. This is putting a password on these keys. Now, keys are interesting. Um, they're a way for you to basically get access to a system without the system knowing your password. And you can just kind of say, hey, here's something, tell me what it is. And using the key, you can see it because um, it allows one person to encrypt it and the other person to decrypt. You can't, it, it doesn't, uh, the person who encrypts it can't decrypt it. So if they send something to you, you can send back the answer um, and then they know that it's, it's you. So enter the passphrase. So I'm going to leave this blank. So that means anyone who gets access to my system can use this key. That's not great, but it's okay. Um, so gives a little information. So now if I look here, um, I moved everything into old so that I don't overwrite stuff. So here I have um, some keys for my videos. Sweet, sweet. So um, I think I might have a little issue, but we'll, we'll come to that in a sec. So I have my keys there. So I'm going to come here and I click started and happy day it started. And here's the command line. I'm going to click on AWS to get in and we'll see it's going to let me in. Sweet. So I'm going to go to EC2. Now there's a lot of ways you can get to it from here. Uh, if it's already there, I can say EC2, that's Elastic Compute uh, Cloud for, so ECNC, Elastic Compute Cloud. Um, I can also come here and go to all services and see it's in, here's compute and has them. This is a great place to go if you're trying to understand what AWS has to offer and just start to learn one by one what all of these things are, okay? But we're gonna be just doing EC2 today. So EC2, we're gonna launch an instance. And I'm gonna, oh, not gonna launch it yet. I need to come back here, because I created a key. So I'm gonna come click on EC2, and if you look down here, key pairs. So there's already a key pair there, because the lab created one. So I'm going to actions, import a key pair. And I'm gonna call this personal. I'm going to browse, and this is where you need to remember where it was. So mine's in .ssh. And there's the pub key. Now, it's the public key that you give. The private key, you keep. The public key, you can give out. So anyone that has the public key can decrypt what you encrypt with your private key. Anyone that has the private key can decrypt the public key. So if we look here, the one without anything is the private one, and this one's the public one, .pub. Cool. So that's up there. Now I can go back to the top and say instances. I can launch an instance. There's so many places I can launch an instance. I'm going to call this playing. I'm going to leave it at Amazon Linux. Amazon Linux, it, I, it's very much similar. To, it, to Red Hat, okay? It's uh, kind of part of that same family. It's fine to leave it at T2 Micro. The key pair name, I'm gonna do this as personal so I can get in. Um, 
allow SSH traffic from anywhere, it's going to create a new security group. You might not want to create a new security group with each one. You might want to select an existing, but since this is the first one, I'm going to leave it there and allow access from anywhere. You could add storage. There's a lot of additional things you can do here, but I think we're good. We'll just go ahead and launch instance. Cool. The instance is launched. Sweet. So now I can come here and it will tell me its IP address. Um, it's current pending. It's trying to get there. So here's my private. Here's my public. And here's my public DNS. I'm going to copy the public DNS and I'm going to come back to this command line. Now, I launched an Amazon Linux. So to connect, I do SSH for secure shell. EC2-user is the username on the system. So I need the username and then at, and I need to tell it what system. And that's that IP address or the DNS name. So I'm going to put the DNS name there and I'm going to hit enter. And it's saying, do you want to continue? I've never seen this before. And I'm going to say yes. And it's added and I'm in. Cool. Now, I'm just going to exit for a second. And I'm just going to do an LS so I can show you something here. In fact, LS-LTRIH. You'll learn about those in another one of my videos if you're interested. Anyway, so if we look here, I moved all my stuff into old so you didn't have to worry about it. Here's the key pair I created, the private and the public key. I often think of the private key as the key and the pub is the lock that you can stick it into, but you can install the lock in a lot of places. So um, we have a known hosts right here. That known hosts, if we cat known hosts, you don't have to worry about the commands for this video. So you can see that it has here some information about the hosts that it's connected to. Cool. That means that if someone else tries to get in the way, it can compare it to this and know if it's really the right person. Think of this as kind of like the identification for a server. Now, the problem is they tie this to public DNS or IP address, however you connect. And AWS changes those on us when we shut things down and start them back up. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. Um, but you see, we were able to get connected rather easily. So I'm going to clear this and just come back up here and show you that command again, get connected. And I'm there now, just so you can see something. If I come back here, if I close this window, that doesn't matter. This is an instance that is running in the cloud. Um, so let's see, let's just say echo high. So come back here. Uh, I can even close this window. Now I'm no longer logged into AWS. This is still here. I'm just going to hit the up arrow, echo high. Okay. Now, if I end my lab, yes, it's going to shut down my instances. So it shut it down because I ended my lab. So if you're using EC2 instances, you can't end your lab. Okay. I hope you've enjoyed this and we'll see you in the next video.